Welcome crystal souls on this new pick a card. Today I'm going to present to your future spouse. Who is this one? So for this reading we have three pals available. We have pal number one, pal number two and pal number three. Take your time you can meditate on the cards and then when you're ready you can find the timestamps on the video directly or down below in the description. And since I received my book of love answers, I am going to be using this one during this reading. I also have charms, letters and words, the zodiac grid and the stickers ready for you. So this reading is going to be very detailed. If you're not yet following me on my ASMR channel, I invite you to do so. This one is linked down below. And if you guys want some yes or no or a personal reading with me, everything is down below as always. So let's begin. So group number one, let's see who will you marry and hints about your future. So the first card is the first date, first first. <laughs> and perhaps this is indicating for you that when you meet this person for the first time, your first date is gonna be the most important moment. That means possibly during this date, you're going to be certain and will know that is somebody I see a future with. This is someone I see as my future spouse. So the first date is gonna be an impactful time or a moment that will be quite memorable. So on the scene you can see two lovebirds looking at the stars together on the car, so possibly going for a ride, or just in the future you guys will just love to have dates where you just sit down comfortably next to each other and talk and admire the beauty of the nature and the stars. So this to me describes that the two of you with the bond and the connection is gonna be quite romantic. Romantic, but also in a way quite magical because you take time to appreciate little things and especially each other's company. So let's see more hints. Who is your future spouse? And with these couple cards, of course, we can get a hint or a glimpse about your future together. Okay, well, this is showing you who that could be because we have the twin flame card. So if you don't have a twin flame, because not everybody has a twin soul incarnated or just they don't want that for their souls, then this could be a soulmate. We'll see what the other cards have to say, but so far we're starting with a twin flame connection or a soul bond with this one. And what I see here is comfort, feeling safe around your person, feeling connected. Lip service, okay, secret, uh, shared sharing secrets and sweet dreams. All right, so for the hints, you guys can be working or studying together at the moment and you might be guided towards somebody you find a deep attraction towards. This twin flame or your soul lover is going to desire you a lot and I see passion, I see feeling comfortable to share secrets together. Honestly, I feel this connection is going to be the type of love and relationship that makes you feel so good and comfortable and safe enough to share everything about your past, everything about you, everything about what you see or how you perceive life and even people. So I see comfort, security, a lot of passion as you can tell, lip service, so perhaps their love language is cuddling or sharing everything with you, communicating with you, and especially at night time, they will love to read a book for you or cuddle and kiss indeed. So that's what you can see for these cards. But yes, you're attracting someone that is solely connected to you. And I, I, do, I do believe this is really highlighting the fact that the two of you might be destined to be together. And you might feel this way. You might feel, I really want to be married to rather a soulmate or my twin flame because I don't see anybody really fulfilling me if I don't have this spiritual bond or connection or just our views of spirituality, marriage or love aligned. So for the traits, we have someone who is family oriented and they might be wanting to have a family with you. So if this is what you target as well, I mean, that is perfect. 
If now you don't want to have kids, it could just be the fact that they really have a deep connection with their family and they will love to actually hang out with them a lot or they might have a very healthy relationship with their family. We have someone who is confident, which is good. So a confident and family-oriented person here. And again, we have a kiss kind of like a first move here happening and we saw the first date card so i do believe this could be like a fresh new start you you know you did not really expect for things to work so well with somebody but then in the future you will just understand okay we were meant to be so now it makes sense why we were compatible right away so family oriented and confident let's continue and pick this other couple deck and if you guys like this one this is one i created so you can find it linked down below so okay no i thought they were about to fall but nope so let's see let's shuffle and get hints okay wow <laughs> okay so definitely if not a twin flame this person is indeed your counterpart and with the veil, I see that this could be representing as a symbolic the two of you revealing yourself to each other. You are together under the veil. You're seeing beyond the illusions. And I'm sure you might feel this way. You might feel so connected solely to one specific person, counterpart or twin flame. And you know that this is for a reason. Your soul is calling for them and you feel so connected with them. And honestly, I told you that first date is going to show you we are compatible and possibly you're going to have that sensation as like we were meant to be and that moment was meant to be for us to start this love chapter. So yes, you guys see each other or know each other and your soul might be the compass guiding you towards somebody specific, telling you that's the one, prioritize this person, go on a date with them, you're going to see something might happen or you guys will just really bond and vibe to the point that it's going to be an evidence for you, this is the one. And we have spa day, okay, so you guys take care about each other. But of course, you will love to just relax together and have a spa day. Spa day can be about self-care. It doesn't have to be, you know, skincare or anything. But it could just be about taking care about each other, talking to each other, um, addressing things that are bothering you as well. So yes, that comforting and relaxing time is what I see for the two of you as like something you enjoy, something that you might be doing often. Because... That is what makes the two of you, you know, more grounded, more connected and aware as well of what is going on with them and how they feel especially. So let's continue and see now traits, physical traits about your person, so what they look like, anything that is specific and pay attention to the looks on the cards because they can be talking to you personally. Green eyes green eyes, glasses or contacts, let's get a few more, melodious voice and ooh, baby voice, okay, so if not about them, this could also be related to what they like about you, so take what resonates, green eyes, baby voice, melodious voice, they could be good, they could be good at singing as well, just so you know. And then we have glasses and contacts. I'm going to show you a close-up for you guys. So they can wear glasses. It doesn't have to be all the time, but for example, they might need glasses to read or when they work on something. Or they just love to wear that as a fashion accessory, could be. And that can resonate with the meeting. And we can see sunglasses here, so maybe that is also a, an option. If not, glasses could be sunglasses. So let's see now places. So they can be symbolic places where you guys meet, the first date. Um, so, so far I see... I feel like you guys will love to stick at home as well, like enjoy your time at home and connect. Then I see especially a school scene in the bathroom. 
<laughs> so it can be relevant. Again, I see school scene. We have a concert here. What else? Of, of course, driving, working place. So far, this is what we can see. But let's get more places. Future trip, shopping alley. Let's get a few more. Subway, lunch break and the grocery store. So they can be places where you guys meet or where you guys go to a lot in the future. Oops, so maybe making time during lunch and eating together, going to the grocery store together, um, you know, taking the subway, going home. Or you can be meeting on, you know, while grocery shopping or just going to a place with the subway. And so let's see these. So we have shopping LA and the future trip. So if you do plan to go somewhere, you can be also guided towards your twin flame or your counterpart. And if you're traveling these days and you're watching this reading, this could be like a, a sign for you to look around because you might be guided towards somebody specific. Or maybe somebody will be traveling to you and we have summer as a trip, so it could be around summer as well, if not right now. We have winter, summer for the seasons. That's pretty much what I can see on the scenes. Now let's see a message. What they want to say to you. And reveal to you a heart to heart message. Well, we have a lot, but I'll take them. <laughs> so you make my heart smile is the first one. Then we have, life is the flower for which love is the honey. Then, to me, you are the perfect. I think it's, you are perfect. <laughs> to me, you're perfect. And let's see this other one. I have nothing but you. So these are what your future spouse wants to say to you and reveal to you. So let's continue and I'm going to put these on the side. So I'm going to continue with the charms. No, actually I'll start with the grid. So we can see the zodiac sign of your person first and then we'll see the charms. So what is their zodiac sign? If not, zodiac sign could be the season when you guys will be together or meeting. So we have Cancer, Taurus, Aries, Aquarius, can see also Sagittarius here and Scorpio. Let's now pick the charms. Let's see any type of hints and perhaps if we have some letters and words they can be guiding you towards a place, a name. I see LA right away. LA. I see moon in French. Lune. Or maybe the one, which is how we write it in French, un, une. So you can be guided towards the one. Maybe the moon is significant. And we saw looking at the stars. So I guess you guys will just enjoy to, you know, look at the stars, look at the moon together. AI. Maybe that's some type of app, AI. Or they can work with these type of things. Or Thai. So, it could be food, could be origins as well, like Thailand, for example. Um, what else? I love tall, maybe somebody with tall or talkative. I see the universe actually manifesting this love. So, I feel like your twin flame is really going to be pushed <laughs> and presented by the universe and you might see a lot of signs like 11 11 1 1 1 4 4 4 so yes these might be guiding you towards this person or just telling you this person thinks about you when you see these signs so with the um, how is it called I cannot find the word. a sheep. So the sheep can be talking about purity. So purity in that marriage and connection. Someone who's going to be good to you 
And what I see with this is especially someone who is abundant and successful, even with the star, and perhaps this is talking about looking at the stars together, I see again your angels working on this or spirit guides. So yeah, universe and spirit guides are working on this behind the scene. Um, I see taille in French, which is the height. So... I don't think we had a card related to the height of the person, but this could be, or tell, or fairy tell. Uni, so union, or university, could be connected to, or universe, because we saw that. Oh, we have the law, so they can be working with, or studying about the law. But it could be, oh, I see tuna, could be something they love, they love to eat. I think of sushi too, like tuna rolls or something like that. Sometimes it doesn't make sense now, but then when you meet the person, it's like, oh, I see why we saw all these signs. So yes, just explore. So let's continue next. So I'm going to prepare my book, my book of love answers. So you can think of a question. Sometimes it's a message too. It's not always yes and no or timings, just like my other book. Um, but this one is more love-related answers or messages. So just so you know. And if you don't want to ask any questions, just let it be and see what message comes out for you. So let's see. First with the stickers. This way you have some time to think of your question. Well, I get everything out. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like you are reflecting. Like, who is that person? Or like... Have I been receiving these signs? Have I been missing something? I don't know. We have clean up. This to me is some guidance telling you if you want this person to step forward and if you want to find your future spouse fast, you need to clean the way. Meaning, no attachment to exes, no attachment to these crushes that are not even interested in you. You need to clear the way and clear any type of fears or residual energy or emotions from the past. You can be clueless about who that person is. And I think that's the case. I feel like you are not aware or maybe you feel like possibly a twin flame, but I have no clue that, who that twin flame is. And that's okay because you might be guided towards a surprise. And as for the milk, peach, peach milk, um, it could be related to something tasty for you. And perhaps their peach is tasty. I don't know. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm always eating my mic. I'm so sorry, guys. So let's see now with my book of love answers. And I will add the book of love answers to my yes or no. This way you can pick this option if you want. Because when you book with me with a yes or no, you can get rather a card with yes or no answers, my other book of answers, or uh, the pendulum. So this way you have many options to choose from. Or if you want a reading with me, everything is linked down below. So check it out. So let's see group number one. This is my first time using it. So <laughs> I am actually super excited. Let's see group number one. Ooh, Netflix and chill? <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> so group number two. Let's see who will you marry and your future together. So dance with me is the message for this guide. What I see is just a happy, harmonious marriage. You guys following the lead of your partner and you might feel actually this person is gonna be enough for me and I see that they want to you know help me support me and I can feel supported and safe around this person and that's why you dance with them and they dance with you and it shows mutual respect and support so not just your person leading or you know directing things or choosing for you but if you want someone who is in their masculine someone who is good at taking decisions or you know making plans for the future or just planning for dates and surprises they will be able to do that but i'm sure you are yourself gonna do these type of things and this will be appreciated so you guys are dancing flowing together which is nice to see as for this yellow color which is the most present color on the card this shows a very happy and bright positive marriage and i'm sure this is because you guys are truly compatible and you will be choosing someone who will bring you a lot of fun and happiness so let's see with the couple cards more about your future. 
and this marriage or him, Subaoji person. Okay, we have wildest fantasies. And perhaps you want that type of connection. You want something passionate, fun, entertaining, that makes you feel connected to your person, even, you know, with that area. So something a bit more intimate. Then we have made of stars and divine relationship. Isn't it beautiful? So you are guided towards somebody specific that you feel you have a divine connection with. And perhaps you knew and you felt my person, my future spouse, is actually someone that is for my soul family or for my star family. So if you've been incarnating in other places than earth, then you guys could have been together in these other realities, dimensions, places or incarnations. And now on earth, you are choosing to be together again, which is why this connection is quite divine. And you guys know we are made of stars. So if you really connect with the star seeds, um, if you feel like you are the alien on earth and you don't really resonate with humans, yes, this may talk to you really deeply. If not, that's okay. It just means this love story, this future marriage is written in the stars. This is part of destiny for you to be experiencing this divine connection. And we have wildest fantasies. So I do believe anything that you fantasize about, anything you like, especially intimate things, this person will love to explore. Of course, here we have someone who is uh, blindfolded so it could be you know blindfolded and things like being tied up i feel like this could be something you guys will love to explore let's see now some personality personality traits anything about who they are overprotective i feel like it's because you're attracting someone who is in their masculine energy they want to make you feel safe they want you to you know feel secure but also they might want them to feel secure. Like they don't like competition. They don't like you to look at other people and they will be a bit protective. But I feel if you just reassure the person and say, I'm going to meet some friends or I'm going to do that. So don't worry, don't stress. I think it's going to be in the beginning, especially. And then the person will just be like, okay, I trust you. It's all good. But in the beginning, they might, you know, deal with, some type of trauma connected to possibly cheating or something like that and because they have a hard time trusting again they might be presenting themselves as overprotective it's just because they want to feel okay they want to feel safe and they want to be the one i mean they see a future with you <laughs> i can see that so of course Somebody who is going to be talented and imaginative. That is good. And again, I think that's very connected. So talented, imaginative, creative. And you might feel you guys can have good times together with activities that can be quite artistic or anything connected to imaginations. Even the way you guys will talk together. You will just explore different scenarios or different ideas or ways of saying things that might be quite unique and, you know, coming from your imagination and your soul. But expect someone who is going to be quite skilled and talented. Could be arts, because this is what you can see. And we have books, and the two of them are reading something together. So you can be loving to read together, to learn about new things. Of course, if not reading, it could be, for example, watching a video or a movie or documentary that might really bring something that is knowledge-based, you know? So that is it. Or if not that, because imaginative really makes me think of fantasy, writing together, or doing something that makes you work with your right brain more. So yes. So let's see a couple cards. Anything about this person and future. Falling in love. And I think it's going to be endless. You're going to fall in love constantly with the person because they do something for you all the time. They're here for you. They talk to you. Like they make time for you. And this is nice to see. So, pe yes, peaceful time and falling in love. And if you guys love this deck, this is going to be linked down below. This is one I created. So 
unexpected meeting okay so if you have no clue who that person could be it's okay because you might be surprised with the meeting or this person being presented to you so unexpected falling in love and we have a picnic which is quite romantic it reminds me of a photo shoot <laughs> that you create in nature and peaceful time i do believe you guys will be quite creative to be honest because we have artists um people loving to read create explore possibly play games have fun watching movies yes daydreams again that is very connected to imagination you know you need to visualize daydreams and then you transport it into that that world right so yes daydreams connects perfectly in my opinion and then netflix and chill and again you know just it's funny because <laughs> we were talking with a friend about dates and things that we would love to experience and you know things to do on valentine's day which is when i'm recording and so this is exactly what i was talking about i was talking about you know just putting some blankies and pillows and just bringing some snacks and watching a movie or just talking and playing games like you know you have some cards games for communication and questions and things like that so I was really picturing this type of scene and I also talked about the fact that if Valentine's Day was around like summertime for example at least from friends perspective this would be so much more fun because actually we could get a picnic in you know in nature instead so yeah it's funny how this is connected to like show you you can actually and i feel like you guys will enjoy exploring these romantic things and activities to do together so falling in love netflix and chill daydreams unexpected meeting and a peaceful time together we like to see that <laughs> so let's continue oh let's pick first the physical cards physical traits appearance and make sure to pay attention to the looks on the cards as well because they can talk to you that way and show you what they look like maybe their style activities they do this is going to be quite symbolic look at this I told you, this reminds me of a photo shoot and boom, we have this person holding a camera as if, yes, you guys are just having a photo shoot or you guys will just love to take pictures of each other. And we have someone who has brown hair, so that is one of the traits. Let me pick all of them and then I'll show you a close up. Let's see what they look like. Okay, so we have chubby, so they can have a like a baby face, like a chubby, chubby, what is it, uh, chicks, <laughs> like yeah, you get the point, so chubby brown hair, if not about them, this could be things they like about you, so take what resonates with you, blonde, so if not brown, could be blonde, and like to me this person has this mystical <laughs> this mystical vibe or style even and you can feel that too i mean these two are quite similar with the vibe right so yes mystical blonde medium air and seductive charms and we have a spicy scene here so i guess this is what you guys love i mean we had netflix and jail which is a code for you know Mm -hmm. so that could be the after <laughs> definitely oh wait i actually talked about this i talked about the fact that you guys will have these type of fantasies right with the blindfold and the tie and look at what is here <laughs> this is indeed a tie so it, yeah i just I think that's your thing. <laughs> I I mean, that's your thing or their thing. And you might be open for that too. But yes, so these are some hints for you guys. Let's continue with places. And they can be symbolic places, things to do together. So we add art, museum, collections, or just at home painting together. Nature is quite of a place you guys will love to explore. And next I see going to a bar, restaurant, a place that's quite fancy because the way they're dressed. But here we have a restaurant. It's a bit more chill here. But here it's like, you know, very fancy looking. So 
that can resonate with type of places they love to go to. We have the gym, bubble tea and the train station. So if, for example, this person lives, you know, a little bit far away or just, you know, you have to take the train to, you know, go there, this could be. So train station or you can actually meet this person at the train station. Bubble tea store and the gym. All right, so let me pick next a message. Uh, not this one. I'm always mixing the decks. I'm so sorry. Let's see. Message they want to say to you. If you love someone, let them free. Love me little, love me long. <laughs> this is totally, you know, marriage vibe. Love me little, but love me long. Um, if I had a single flower for every time I think about you, I could walk forever in my garden. And then, thank you. Oh, this is so cute. Like truly, like thank you. Thank you for choosing me. Thank you for this love. Thank you for everything. So thankfulness, I think it's going to be big in that relationship. Ah, okay, so let's continue with the other techniques. I'm going to continue with the grid so we can see the zodiac sign or season. So zodiac sign or season for you and then we have chimes and other techniques. You'll see. <laughs> so let's start. Okay, so what I see here is Virgo. We have, it's, it's very like on point, you know, on the line. So Virgo, we have Libra and Aries. Let's continue with letters and words and the charms. We have a combo here. <laughs> but let's see any type of hints for you guys. Okay. I thought of, oh, we, t we saw Boba, right? It's kind of showing up. Boba. Oh, book of answers. And we're using one afterward. I'm like, this one is ready for you guys. So get ready. I feel like this could be something important that you'll find in the book. Let's see. I think like in Portuguese, Natal is um, Christmas. So I'm not sure, but you could have met around Christmas. Bo. Someone with good, because this means good in French. Could be Nathan, could be Natalie. Um, someone with tan. Bat. Batman. <laughs> it's kind of showing up though. I don't know. Maybe that's could, that could be uh, a movie that you guys would love to watch. A ton. NBA. So they could love sports, especially, especially, uh, what's the word? Basketball. <laughs> what's the word? <laughs> Kind of see date. Yep, that that's pretty much it. What I can see. Oh, on. So for the the um, charms, let's see a close up. So we have with the lotus flower. This talks about trust in the relationship. We have true love, two hearts connected together. It's like we're not going anywhere. We're meant to be. We stick to each other. And with the angel wing, you can be seeing this person as an angel or you can be feeling like you're guided towards somebody. So your angels and your guides are working behind the scene or God is actually manif manifesting this person because this is true love here. Okay, so get ready for that. Let's continue with the stickers and then we're going to be using the book of love answers. So I'm going to put this one here. This way you can think of a question. So the book of love answers is mostly about timings. It's about messages or just what's going on next. So you can rather think of a question or just let it be because that can guide you without really asking anything just to read the energy right now. So let's see. We have the stickers first. Oh, so this could be starting as a friendship. And ooh, 
Okay, so you can see this person as someone you can call anytime. If you need help, if you need an advice, like they will be reachable all the time. So 24 call center. Isn't it beautiful? Like when you have somebody you can really rely on and you know that if you need help or just some advice, they will just be there for you. Yeah, perfect. So I see somebody who is quite transparent with their love because you can see that box which is transparent and inside you can see the red rose symbol of love so transparent with their love and romance we have a picnic and we saw the picnic card someone winking at you possibly quite charismatic as well so oh wait we have more <laughs> okay two lovebirds on a date and we have the charm with again the rose and we have love so you're attracting true love with this future person isn't it beautiful <sighs> I love it <laughs> okay so let's see with the book of love answers and if you guys want to get a yes or no i will be adding this book so you can get yes or no answers with this book as well if you want to get one with me of course you can get the book itself or the books because i have two versions of them and if you want some personal guidance everything is going to be linked down below so group number two let's see the guidance for player okay so be mindful and I feel like you need to be aware of when people are playing with your heart or when people can really be there for you because this person is not playing around, okay? And you might be presented players before to test you and know when this is just somebody who is a friend and somebody who wants your best for you or somebody who's just wanting some fantasies. So that could be some advice for you to be mindful that not everybody is going to have pure intentions towards you. Group number three, let's see who is going to be your future spouse, traits, qualities, and your future together. So I feel like this seduction with this person is gonna be quite strong. So starting dating, but also with that marriage, you're going to feel that sense of seduction that is always there. And they might really put effort in that seductive game. They want you to always fall in love with them. They want you to be connected to them. And for you to feel your heart beating any time they are present in the room. So they will entertain that seductive game, that seduction. So you will never be bored. And I think that's very good when people can still surprise you and, you know, make sure that you feel <laughs> those butterflies in your stomach whenever they are around because they appear a certain way or they surprise you with something you never really expected. So seduction is gonna be quite big with that connection and this person. So let's see more hints with a couple cards i will take care of you we have a reunion and we have i am choosing you okay so perhaps in the past you guys have been crushes or you did not really allow yourself to experience this romance and you can be reuniting in the future i am not getting an ex i'm more getting somebody that you know, nothing really happened with, but you wished this could be happening. If that does not resonate, this could be on a soul level. Reuniting with a soulmate, reuniting of someone from a past life. Especially if you feel somebody, somebody's souls especially, is calling for me right now and I'm ready to choose them because they're choosing me too. And trust me, this person will take care about you, always present, always providing. And they're choosing you for a reason. They see that you are the most compatible soul they can find and they just want to spoil you. They want to provide to you. And when someone is willing to be the provider, willing for you to be safe, and you yourself reciprocate, I at least I'd hope so, um, this is when you guys will just have a happy, healthy marriage. And I think that's the foundation here. You guys take care about each other, you continue to seduce each other and surprise each other, you choose each other, that's why I choose you, and when you get married you say, I do, so I do choose you, that's who I love, so of course I stick to you. And so this union and this connection is going to be quite strong. So yes, and I feel like you will be, if you are reuniting with somebody, you'll be guided towards this person. And perhaps you're going to find hints during this reading. So pay attention to the looks, style, even numbers that may appear, the zodiac signs showing up. Everything will be quite precise 
and straightforward to you. So let's see personality. Who are they as a person? And perhaps how they will treat you as well. Ooh, so you're attracting someone who is quite popular. It could be about fame, it could be about success, or someone who is quite popular around where they live or in their work place. So, for example, it could be a business person um, that has a business and that's quite popular and successful. It could be someone who is popular on social media, you know, all that. Or popular with other guys or other girls. It could be too. So, let's see. Clingy and warm. Oh, I, I, actually, I can see a sweetheart here. <laughs> you know, someone who takes care about you, provide to you, cling to you, choosing you all the time in every situation. Like, for example, if somebody is inviting them to go to, I don't know, some event, but then you ask them, do you want to hang out without knowing they have something planned, they actually might, you know, just say actually i had plans but i will make time for you i'm choosing you so warm clingy and popular so these are the traits from your person right there and even the way they are dressed could be significant to their style appearing and i have some deck also connected to the physical traits from your person so clingy warm and popular okay let's continue with more couple cards to get more hints about your future and if you love this deck you can find it linked down below which is one of the couple decks i designed fantasy okay i mean we had a little bit of passion on all the groups which is nice to see because i mean you're going to get married so you want that flame and passion there and you have that so that's good look at this we have the spouse card okay so, and all the pals have very unique cards as you can tell like for example this is pal number two all the cards are here i'm not reusing i am not reusing any and here pal number one so yes you have unique cards so spouse fantasy <laughs> and here we have a hot top so you can really like plan to go on dates like these, like go on a trip together, on a hot tub or in the swimming pool, but really taking care about each other with activities. And with the spouse, again, I feel like this is a sign for you that this person is your unique and only spouse. Because some people sometimes they get divorced. Unless you, you have been divorced, then you might be wanting to unite with someone that you feel connected to unless you feel my ex spouse is the one so i'll go back to them take what resonate of course but this may not be for everybody here so spouse and fantasy i see a lot of limes or like citrus fruit especially so what i think about like when i i see fruits like these i think of positivity freshness someone who is energetic like a lot of vitamin c <laughs> type of thing so yeah you can be attracting someone who is like this positive full of energy full of positivity always fun to be around so let's continue with the physical guides so we can see physical traits from your future spouse let's see for you what comes out long hair if not about you this could be about i mean if not about them this could be about you things they like about you so take what resonates with you and or somebody else somebody different so shaved long hair short short and even the activities they do on the cards not just on these can be significant too. Like for example, we have somebody drawing here. So they could love to draw or do something quite artistic. Maybe their hair color could be colored as well. And long. So short, shaved, long hair. A soothing voice, active wear and light blue eyes. So these are some hints for you guys. And now, when you book a wedding with me, you can also add these. I added these um, to the form. So I think it could be quite interesting if you want to get a clear portrait that could add 
to the reading. So let's see now places. So where you guys can meet or symbolic places for you. So far, I mean, we had the hot tub, house, especially the, the living room, the couch. Where else? I think of Japan, especially with the style or like Asia. Could be a trip, for example, or their origin. Or where they live or where you live. <laughs> um, that, that's pretty much it for the places. So, the cocktail club or a bar. We have creative corner and we saw someone with drawing here, editing. So it could be pictures, could be videos, maybe a content creator or you can be. Um, or you can be meeting on these type of apps, like where you post your content and school or work. So work, oops, school. <laughs> creative corner, oh, YouTube. I forgot to read this one. So creative corner or YouTube. <laughs> Or they could be a YouTuber, actually. And TikTok. Oh, TikTok. I mean, maybe this came out for a reason. Like, cocktail club is what I was meant to say. <laughs> and TikTok. This came out out of nowhere, but I guess it is significant for some of you. So they could be a YouTuber or a TikToker, I guess. <laughs> Let's see. I mean, I feel like now content creators are everywhere on each platform. So, yeah, it makes sense. Let's see now messages, <laughs> what they want to say to you and reveal to you. Anything you need to hear right now about them. What they feel. So let's pick a few more. Okay. All right. My thoughts are deep into you. See this one. To see a world in a grain of sand and a heaven in a heaven in a wild flower, old infinity in the palm of your hand and eternity in an hour. Oops, sorry, it's on the side. Just because someone doesn't love you the way you want them to doesn't mean they don't love you with all they have. It reminds me of something I read this morning, which was a bit disturbing to me because like. It was all about only welcoming people that will treat you the way that you want them to treat you. And I think it's it's unfair for everybody to expect that, especially if this is an early relationship, because you need to get to know somebody and somebody's desires before condemning somebody. as like, you're not doing that for me. Or for example, if you're not doing something special for me on Valentine's Day or not planning anything, you don't like me. I mean, if it's not really caring to not plan anything, but it's still very condemning, like I said. And perhaps instead of being judgy, why not planning something and showing them how to treat you on Valentine's Day and see how they can reciprocate for a next celebration of love, you know? So it's like this to me. It's not about perceiving how people need to treat you. And if they're not following these type of lines, you have to reject them. I think it's more about telling them, oh, actually, I would love us to do these things. Or, oh, this would be amazing if we can do these things. You know, it's more about presenting options instead of being like, okay, I have all these on my checklist and I'm going to test you right now. Can you do that for me? Or do I need to tell you what to do? Of course, it's, it's, <laughs> it's not good to tell people. I mean, it, it doesn't feel right sometimes to tell people what to do. But some people are not aware because they they never been... They've never been treated this way or they don't have the education. Perhaps their parents never did these things. So like you come with all your romantic expectations and then they're like, oh, okay, well, I will adapt, but I need some time to. So I think that reminds me of that type of thing. Just because someone doesn't love you the way you want them to doesn't mean they don't love you with all they have. Or all they know because they have backgrounds they have their own education they have their own parents and parents tend to be what we perceive as love unless we project ourselves in romantic movies etc but you get the point 
So fall in love with you when I meet you at the first time. So this is gonna be love at first sight with this person, truly. And I think it's gonna be quite an evidence. Even the way they seduce you, it's like, I'm falling deep for them. Okay, so these were the messages. Let's continue with the other techniques. I like this pile. I think it was quite mature, mature, wise, and loving, caring, full of beauty. <laughs> so let's continue with next the grid, zodiac grid. So we can see the zodiac sign of the person. If not the zodiac sign, of course, this can be connected to the season when you guys meet each other. Okay, so we have, especially summer, I can see that, with Cancer and Leo. Then we have Virgo and Scorpio. So these are the signs. Let's continue next with the chimes, so we can see more hints. And with the chimes, we have letters and words. So perhaps you can see a name, a place appearing. Something specific. I think of Rather so far with these. Wool. Oh, Owl. Oops, not this one. Oh, feeling whole together. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> Let's see. So here we have good, we have love and wish so wishing to be with this person i feel like you're craving for this person you really wish to find the one i love my soldier i feel like you're you're directed towards this person like i'm following the boat this new destination where i feel a whole where i where i feel at home live perhaps you guys will live together quite quickly or you guys are living together already maybe you guys are together I heard road, rover, I think especially of the car, Leo, or, L oh, maybe Leo, it's like the, the season or the zodiac sign. We have a flag from USA, so it could be the target, could be the place, or they could be from USA, or the origin, made for you is the message here with the spoon i see someone who is quite abundant and ready to give to you as for the starfish this reminds me of somebody who stick to you you know because the starfish like they stick to the surface right so this could be someone who is quite clingy and i think right i think we saw the clingy card if i'm not mistaken let me check let me check or maybe it was in the other pile. No, it's here. It's here. I was correct. So clingy, indeed. This is showing up here. As for the rabbit, I think of rather things speeding up between you and the person. We have love. Look at this. Um, so speeding up. And we had the love message, of course. And uh, what else? In real life. This means flight in French. So perhaps you guys, oh, and I see voir, which is see. So you will see each other, possibly fly to each other or fly to other places together. So traveling could be something you guys will love to do. Oh, this means king in French. Now a lot of French words are just showing up. So yes, you can be attracting your queen or your king or someone you see as royal, you see. Roll with it. Volo, Rio, could be a place, or a place to visit, if not, um, low, high, low and high, this means gold in French, so golden person too, VR, virtual reality, I feel like we have VR, virtual reality, or virtual exchanges, but also in real life. Like, you enjoy these type of things. Or you work with these type of things, too. 
a vow. I mean, yes, marriage, <laughs> right? That's beautiful. So many hints, but something can appear to you that I did not see. Ho! <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Anyway, so let's continue with the other techniques. So I'm preparing my book of love answers. This way you can think of a question. If not, you, I mean, you don't have to think of a question because this book is pretty much guidance. Guidance, reading energy, uh, letting you know what's going on next. So there can be messages, there can be timings, there can be yes, no type of answers. So it's very diverse. And I will add my book of answers to my yes or no questions when you actually book with me. This way you can pick this option if you guys are interested. And if you want to get your reading as well, everything is linked down below as always. And thank you guys for your support when you do so. This is what actually helps me <laughs> to live from what I do because YouTube... YouTube is generous, but I cannot live out of YouTube. So this is all thanks to you guys' um, support with personal readings. Otherwise, I would have to quit. <laughs> but yes, let's see. Hints with these. So fab... Fab and sad. With this, I see this is summer. So I don't know, but maybe summer season could be when you guys will be together. We have a picnic going on or in the future. Oops, this way. A picnic is something you can plan together, which is quite romantic. Become one. And that is totally the vibe for marriage, right? We become one. We are one couple now. We're together forever oopsie um world's domination for cats they can have a cat or they would love to adopt with you if not a cat could be something different of course emotionally unavailable and what i see is comfort like when you feel emotionally unavailable they will still be supportive and be there for you and bring you healing i think it means i'm in pain so yeah, I'm in pain, so please help me. And I'm sure you'll feel very comfortable to talk about how you feel with the person. If you feel in pain, if you don't feel too good, nothing will just stop you from expressing how you feel currently. Um, I just believe there's a lot of things in your mind right now. You don't really know what to say, what to do, or what's next for you. But just as, let yourself be guided. Maybe you guys can be meeting at the beach. Somebody can have their eyes on you right now. And I see a very passionate, fun type of love <laughs> with you and the person here. So let's see now with the book of love answers. I'm excited. I'm actually, for the first time during this reading, using this one. So let's see what is the guidance. Group number three. It's my fault or possibly when you guys will feel emotionally unavailable and feel like talking about how you feel, you will always blame yourself. But the thing is, it's about, you know, talking about these things together and seeing how you can really resolve the situation. So let's see, it's my fault. Let's get another message for you. All the options. So if not reuniting with somebody from the past you will have these other options i think it's good to see here because some some people may be like i don't want to go back to somebody so you will have other options which is going to guide you towards your future spells thank you guys for watching make sure to subscribe if you're new to the family you can check my other readings appearing on the screen or on my channel and i will see you in my next one Bye bye